Well, after learning yesterday that the Erie County District Attorney's Office is investigating the Cheektowaga Town Highway Department, we decided to look a bit deeper. And what we found were some political contributions from the private property owner who was actually involved in the situation. Channel 2's Ron Plants has more for us tonight. As we've shown you in pictures provided to us by the Town of Cheektowaga Employees Association, there are town workers at a highway department vehicle with a boom bucket parked on a town street doing repair work and attaching a light on a flagpole at a private medical professional office on Borden Road. Town Highway Superintendent Mark Wagner told us Wednesday he disagreed with Union Attorney Paul Weiss's contention that it's a violation of the state constitution. Wagner explained it was just an effort to assist a town resident who had called him to request help with that flagpole. You're dealing with a veteran, you're dealing with a doctor and a volunteer fireman who's donated a lot of money and a lot of time to the town. Wagner refers to Dr. Ali Jafari at 711 Borden Road, who was a volunteer firefighter and a captain in the New York State Guard in his biography. It turns out Dr. Jafari is also a campaign contributor to the Friends of Mark Wagner since the highway superintendent was elected in 2007. We found contribution amounts of $200 in 2009, 2011, and 2018, and then $400 amounts in 2012 and 2013. And now with Wagner's Town Highway Department under investigation. Defense attorney Barry Covert says taxpayers may not get upset when police or municipal workers assist someone stuck in the snow. So in this situation, while there may be a cost savings for a private owner or business. Here, it, it doesn't seem as though it's something that should necessarily go criminal uh, if, in fact, the town highway department was utilizing town equipment to help a private business change some lights once a year that shouldn't rise to the level. But that's not to say that the district attorney's office doesn't uh, want to take a close look at this, see exactly what was involved, how many employee hours were involved, what equipment was used. Uh, how was this performed, and then decide uh, whether they want to seek uh, any charges. Ron Plants, Channel 2 News.